In the past, um, researchers had seemed to say that there was this idea of the schizophrenogenic mother, that somehow mothers' interactions with their children led to schizophrenia. Also, we know that schizophrenia runs in families, so people are thinking, you know, have I passed on schizophrenia to my child? And so people feel guilty for that. And then there's this other work around social adversity in childhood and bullying being things that increase your risk of developing schizophrenia. And so, you know, parents think, I should have protected my child. And so all of these things together, you know, you have the shock of somebody um, getting a diagnosis of schizophrenia or any of the other psychoses, and then you're looking for reasons, and you look at yourself and they think, well, could it be me? The truth is it's not. There's not one cause for psychosis. There are loads of factors, and a lot of those factors are not under our control at all. Yes, it is correct that... Um, schizophrenia runs in families. But if you're a mother and a father, uh, or mother or a father, who have a diagnosis of schizophrenia or another psychosis, your child has 90% chance of not developing a psychosis. Yes, social adversity increases the chance of developing schizophrenia and other psychoses, but a lot of the social adversities that kids suffer, you can't do very much about. So you can't control that. And that research about the schizophrenogenic mother, that was thrown out a long time ago. Nobody believes that exists. There's not one cause for schizophrenia and there is not one person who is responsible. Usually by the time the diagnosis has come about, the thing that we really need to be thinking about is what we can do to help people move towards recovery. Because it's such a complex group of factors that increase risk, there's actually no point in trying to find out who's to blame, because no one is to blame. A lot of it is circumstance, and a lot of it is circumstance that nobody can do anything about.